Hey guys, it is Baron J67. And I am T Jones. What's going on, man? Man, we are back at it again. And I'm just so thankful for you guys, man. We're slowly climbing up with subscribers. Things are moving up. Things are feeling good. Progress is there. I felt like I like on a personal note that I took some I took some time off. Like I think I took like three weeks, not as in recording, but just I took three weeks to myself. Where it mm -hmm. felt like I didn't stream as much. I mean, I think in the month of February, I clocked over like 70 hours of streaming. Not including yeah. what we do. Not including me making videos. Not including, yeah. you know. So well, that's that's the grind, man. Yeah. That is the grind. of. Um, I mean, not unfortunately, because you, you, it's what you got to do. Exactly. But that is the grind, man. That's the grind. Man, that, hey, that's, go I, ahead. I... I well, I was actually just about to jump straight into it. I didn't, what, what else was you about to say? Oh, I was about to say that I got kind of showed up by my wife. Um, uh -oh. So I, my my Netflix, my TV time has gone down drastically. I really don't watch TV like I used to, especially trying to read comics and just trying to read in general and then um, editing and all the other fun stuff that I do now. So, and then streaming, of course, I'm trying to finish my video game so somebody can buy me one. But, um, and there's a little backstory. We there's definitely, yeah, there's, to that. yeah, there's a backstory to that. But though, um, but I, we're, we're at the mall and we go to GameStop and my wife looks over the counter and, and it was, a uh, 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 it was a pop figure from Stranger Things. And she was like, oh, you don't know what that is. And I was like, dang. And then the work, the worker behind the counter was like, oh, what? You, you haven't watched Stranger Things? And I was like, not yet. And mm -hmm. and they start going on for a good five minutes nerding out. So here it is, my wife, who is not in any way, shape, or form a nerd. And she's just sitting here just crushing it, talking about Stranger Things. They're quoting it, talking about their favorite characters, this, mm -hmm. that, and the other. And I'm just sitting there lost. I have never... When it came to any type of like pop culture or anything like that, I'm rarely out of the loop. So yeah. to feel out of the loop, I w I was so just questioning everything. Like, am I really a nerd? <laughs> Does my life truly matter? Does it end here? <laughs> Is this hello darkness, my old friend? <laughs> but but no, like, and then I I pulled her to the side afterwards. I was like, Is that how it feels when I like nerd out? in front of a bunch like over something else and she's like yes just being <laughs> completely lost to having no idea what you're talking about but yeah, seeing she, the excitement in somebody she else she was happy for that oh yeah she, she had her she had her shine she was happy for that because it because i mean she's that's probably the only situation she's been in where it, it was like on both levels where exactly both of you guys were supposed to know it that she knew it and you didn't know it, so that's why it just felt like she. Oh yeah, you don't know nothing about that. Don't even need to say anything. Go on with her conversation. Yeah, bro, she. Yeah, she had to. She had to stick it to you one time, bro. I was just sitting there like, uh, and I've watched two episodes already so far. This all happened mm -hmm. today. Uh, yeah, well, I, don't force it. No, force no, it. no, no, no. I will not. No, not be shown up. <laughs> not like that. Not again. Mm -hmm. I've worked too. I've worked too hard for my status. See, I, I, you know what? The beauty of the beauty of that is, is like, is that you can always go back to it. Sure. Like that's why I'm, I haven't watched it, and I'm not eager to watch it right now, because it's so much stuff going on. It's too much TV, bro. It's too much TV going on. Too many video games out here. Actually, it's not that many video games. We'll definitely talk about that. Oh later. yes, we are. Hey. Um, but yeah, I'm not eager to jump into. Like what's popping right now? Because right, why? Because I can always go watch it. You can always go True. and find what you what you need to watch on your phone, your tablet, here right in front of my computer if I wanted to. So and in, in the I'm bad, just not eager to jump into it. True. And then the bad thing is when you try to mix in other stuff. Now, if I was yeah. only watching TV and playing games, oh, it'd be easy. But yeah. watching TV, playing games, streaming, like you, Editing. something, you got so something's got to give things to do. Exactly. And then you can only keep up with so many shows. I haven't finished Gotham. Haven't finished Lucifer. Haven't finished Preacher season two. Haven't finished. Uh, what what else? 
I'm still trying to catch up to at least all the dubbed version of um, One Piece. I'm trying. I finished uh, Naruto over again with my daughter. Naruto. Um, and I finished Shippuden. Um, I even read all the Boruto. Caught up with that. So, See? but the. <sighs> Now let me ask you a question. All the yes. stuff you just named that you did is within this year. Within this year, I caught up to Boruto, and I've watched up to like episode eighty on um, One Piece. Now let me ask you. This is a this is the true question. But that's been like since like. But go ahead, go ahead. The the my true question to that would be: Are you trying to? Are you? Are you watching and reading and consuming this entertainment to get it done, almost like a checklist, or to actually, because you're actually involved and invested oh, okay. in these things? Okay, so when it because comes, there is a huge difference. Cause okay, when it comes to all the anime that I mentioned, Naruto, One Piece, Boruto, I'm invested. I I just ordered my Hidden Sand Village headband. That I'll probably mm-hmm. be wearing in all these uh, <laughs> podcasts and all our yeah. streams. Um, I'm invested. I love it. I haven't read any of the One Piece manga just because, once again, reading list is stupid right now. Um, but I'm truly invested in it. And I think that's why it's taken me so long to watch it. Because if it yeah. was just a matter of turning it on and letting it hit my eyes, that that's not hard. I could be sitting okay, here. Okay, but... Now you just that, you said that was for Naruto and uh, what was the other one? Boruto. Oh, for all my anime, yeah, Naruto, okay, Boruto, now, yeah. Everything else you just said. Oh no, I'm I'm so sorry. Let me clarify. Everything I mentioned, I watch because I care and I love it, okay. and that's okay. why it's taking me so long to finish. I have, oh Arrow, Flash. So what about so now? Let's go back to Stranger Things. Are you only consuming that? Because mm. you want to be in the loop. <laughs> now, let me tell you this. For that show to explain and show my wife what Dungeons and Dragons is, because mm-hmm. I really want to get a, I want to get a campaign going, and she actually is really down for it, and she made reference to Stranger Things. She was like, oh, yeah, that's what the first thing they did in the first episode. They were playing Dungeons and Dragons. And hey, Dungeons and Dragons at my house? Bro, we could do that. Like it, okay. we could get that set up. I'm telling. I've you. never played Dungeons and Dragons, I'm, bro. I'm trying to run a campaign. I've never played either, but I just know we need a good dungeon master. So, but the whole point. Be, there I you go. Okay, so the whole point of it was though, is that I I I'm hooked on it. I'm not trying to yeah. binge it just to say I watched it. It's a good show so far, and mm-hmm. I, I didn't realize we were working towards. We barely made it to the second episode. And oh, really? it just flowed, and the music's dope, the acting's dope, the story's dope. It's got a bunch of dope actors in it, but hmm. um, it, it just—it's even got the guy who's playing the new Hellboy. Um, I forgot his name. Oh, really? Yeah, but it's a damn good show, and I'm enjoying it, and that's why I'm trying to burn through it. So, oh, okay. yeah, it's—it's it's not a matter I of. Just, a, I got No, action. I got you. There's only reason you, no. Action. Let me oh, oh, let me prove my point to you. I stopped oh, watching. No, I stopped watching The Walking Dead. Why? Okay. Because I'm wasting my time. I don't enjoy it anymore. The Walking Even Dead. Even after does, our last conversation, I tried, bro. I was fast. Your exact words was that uh, starting to re was it like rekindle the whatever the whatever. Uh, you it's said. done. Huh. Uh, I I was fast forwarding through episodes, bro trying to get to all major Ooh. points so i found myself just watching it to say i watched it okay. and and i was like nope there's i got too much tv to watch too many yeah. books to read too many comics to read too many too much anime too much manga <laughs> like there's no way i could waste my time on something that's truly not catching me like now i'll wait till it hits netflix and i can just halfway binge fall it. asleep and binge it mm-hmm. but even then i wonder am i still gonna fast forward like i did i was fast forwarding bro i've never disrespected the Walking Dead like that. I mean, it's just not. It's it's, it's not. We, we've already had that conversation, so I'm not gonna go through it again. I, the reason why I felt, and the only reason why I asked that question, not to respect that you say I haven't, you not watching The Walking Dead, is because that truly tells me you truly did prove your point. 
we we come on here and talk about the Walking Dead. We talk about Walking Dead even on, not on the podcast. So to hear you say that that lets me know, yeah, if if you're if you're watching it, if you're reading it, if you're playing it, you're you're vet, you're emotionally vested in. Well, I can't say playing it because we're gonna get to that. Yeah, <laughs> get to the whole playing the video game yeah. part of the conversation. Now, me, um, with me, I I've card I've already solidified in my head that. I will not complete everything that I want to do. Everything that I want to read, everything that I want to watch, everything that I want to play, I will not be able to complete it. Only because I have so much other things um, that will take time away from that. So whether I, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, so whether I start it and I never go to it again, it, it's only certain things that catch my attention like that. Like, the one thing that comes to mind is when I first played Uncharted. Ah. Now, I didn't know I didn't know nothing about Uncharted. Okay. And I picked up the first Uncharted and play it, and I blew through that game. And I was, I was really excited. Nathan and, Drake, man. And then I completed it. Then the second one came. Then the third one came. And then I was completing these games because I really wanted to play them. Um, look at uh, Ready Player One when that book dropped. I was, I read it like that to the point where I forgot stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's why I had to go back and listen to it again before the movie came out to get all of the details that I had forgotten. But other than those two examples, it's not a lot of stuff today that you can tell me and be like, oh yeah, you got to go watch it. You got to go read it now. Oh bro. I I still haven't seen the Justice League movie. Oh damn. You see what I'm saying? That's because I, I can I can go watch it. It's right there. It's, uh, I, can, I literally can click it, it and I'm go tell, straight to I'm it gonna right tell now. You, ex- I'm going to tell you, accessibility has caused a big problem. And I, exactly. think, that, I think that adds to the bubble that mm-hmm. I feel is out there. Um, yeah. Think about how much... Okay, we'll just talk Marvel. Um... Well, not we'll just talk com uh, just comic book uh comic TV comic book to TV shows. Inhumans, Legion, um, you got um, uh, what was the other one? Uh, the guy from uh True Blood, he's in it. That's another Marvel show. Um, you you got Agents of Shield, you have um, Arrow, Netflix. Flash, you got. Just Jessica Jones, Defenders, um, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, uh, Daredevil. I'm mad you said Iron Fist before you said Daredevil, Punish, <laughs> Luke Cage. No, I'm just trying to get through all of them. That, yeah, that's yeah. the po- that's the point of it all. Look what mm-hmm. we. That's just within the last three years. Exactly what I just and, mentioned. And the funny thing about it is, I feel like half a lot of people don't really care for these shows. They watch them because they feel like there's they have to be connected to all of them. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Like, cause because it comes out of the same universe. If, if I was supposed to pick what I wanted to watch, I probably wouldn't have watched The Defender. I probably wouldn't have watched Jessica Jones. Well, I, I still haven't watched Jessica Jones. Really? I probably wouldn't have. Yeah. It's it, it, that's how far back I am, man. Damn, dude. <laughs> that's how far back I am. I I have so much going on that I can't just. I can't just say, "Oh yeah, let me let me stop this and go binge watch Jessica Jones." But see, but then you at know? the same, you know what? But you did get to finish. You did finish Dragon Ball Super. Exactly. So so that, that made because I was because that was that yeah. instantly jumped up to on my priority. Made sense. So th- things will do that if my priority list is short. I mean, all right, well, I got Jessica Jones here. Let me pick this up. Like, just think of Ready Player One. Um, Remember in the book where he talked about I had millions of hard drives, of yeah. games and movies. That's where we are in uh, real yep. life. Yep. Literally, oh, I- and and dude, keep going because that. Oh my god, that's the realest thing ever, bro. Being able to have that access to everything, mm-hmm. and thinking about the fact that I can go and um, play just about any game. I've ever thought of playing, I've ever wanted to play, and they keep making it easier and easier. And I feel like this is where you were transitioning to before I cut you yeah, off. Exactly. Yeah. It. 
remasters. So, yeah, remasters and um pretty yeah, pretty much just games being remastered. Now, how I feel about remasters is I I I I think that they're cheap ways to get people excited. And it's only for the nostalgia. It's only for the, the nostalgia of it. Like if you're not like for example, look at Call of Duty. Call of Duty is the easiest one I can use. True. Call of Duty isn't doing so good. Very right? true. They, came out, they dropped the first, the they came back to the whole boots on the ground game and yada 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 and whatever. And it's it just didn't turn out well. And it, it's many reasons we can go, we can explain why, but the main cause of it or the main thing that they're trying to do to get people excited is oh yeah, we're remastering World at War and we're remastering Modern Warfare 2. No. Uh-huh. That it, to me, I don't like that. Me and I I don't support that. The only reason why I don't support that is because that's just like you saying, I mean, you can use other games too, like even Destiny. If when you when I buy a brand new game and you market it as a brand new game and you bring old exotics from the last game, if I wanted to use this exotic, I can go play the last game. There you go. Don't do that. You know, it's just they're just cheap ways to get people. It's excited. lazy. It's lazy. Yeah. Now, let me tell you this. The only time I've ever been OK with a remaster is for those once in a while classics back when a remaster really meant something. And I'm mm-hmm. trying to think of the last time a remaster meant something because it's been so long and they've been washed out. I mean, think about how many times you've rebought art, right, man. I think I've rebought Skyrim at least three times, four times. Yeah, I bought. But was it that con? Well, no, no. Was that console specific? No. Didn't you buy it for a different console? Well, first, okay. Remember the history with it. PlayStation had major issues with the DLC for Skyrim, and yeah. it was a matter of like four to six months, something like that, because of how bad the the port was. So yeah. what they so I went and took it back, and I went and picked up the Xbox 360 version. Okay. Then I picked up the special edition. I forgot why I did it. I don't know if I traded it in or what. But then they came out with the Xbox One. Then they came out with the um with the PlayStation VR. Mm-hmm. Then they came out with the Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Th- there's jokes that in 2088 they're gonna somehow have a Skyrim, uh, Skyrim. Xbox 27 edition. Yeah. Like. Now this, but let me tell you this: only time I'm okay with it, and I don't think I got my point out, was is if this is a placeholder to make that next game. But let me tell you why it's a problem, because let me, and I'm gonna jump over to Grand Theft Auto, and I'm gonna uh-huh. jump over to, um, I'm gonna jump back into what's uh, backwards compatibility, and yeah. all these other things, because they're they're positives. They were they're great ideas on paper, but they're terrible in practice. Uh-huh. It sounds great. Oh, I can play all my old Xbox games on my Xbox One. Yeah, no, no it sounds no on paper it sounds yeah. great, but when you think about what actually just happened is because let's be honest, I love Xbox, but Xbox has no exclusives. Last yeah. exclusive they came out with was Sea of Thieves, and people are calling that shit the uh, No Man's uh, No Man's Sea. They're calling it the Xbox the Xbox One's No Man's Sky. Mm-hmm. And we all know what happened with No Man's Sky. It was a big promise, under undervalued. Like, it just yeah. tanked. It was nothing like they promised it would be. But my point my point to this is, you're, br- you're giving me all... You're reselling me games I've bought twice already. Because yeah. I bought them when it was on Xbox. I bought it on Xbox 360. And now I'm buying it again to play on my Xbox One. So now you're getting all this revenue all over again, and you still are not giving me any new, uh, new original IPs. Mm-hmm. And then, and then let's let's, and then uh, you can even roll it over into an individual company. We talked about it before. I I think Rockstar was lazy as hell with Grand Theft Auto Five. On paper, and in practice. Yeah, it's fine. You're giving me updates. Oh, cool. Free updates. Full. They've been giving you updates for five years. But see, okay, this is where we'll differ in that these updates are major updates that people enjoy. 
Okay. So the difference. So the difference in that is, it's not like they're giving you shit. It's not like they're giving you bad content. It's not like they're just throwing something out there. They're well thought out. And okay, so this is what I say. I've always been a huge fan of that. You can you can look at you can look at Warframe. Warframe did that as well. They give you a free to play game, but pause. and then they give you these D, they give you these DLC, these DLCs that revamp the game, make it something totally new. Now I'm all for that. If I had to buy one game and then you just give me major updates that change the game, give me mad stuff to do outside of the fact outside of the main thing of the game, I'm all for that. PC that's just like what for. That's just PC. like yeah, yeah, but that's, that's the, this is but, for the console but world let as me, well. But let me tell you, and that's where the problem lies. That's for PC. Now, now let now let's jump. Let's put the shoe on the other foot. Let's ask another question: Is did G, did Rockstar create the new model for games to come on console? Did Rockstar make it to where how Destiny should have been instead of selling me Destiny Two? You give me Destiny Two as the update. Uh, do you get Do you get what? Because no, that, that's a fair. No, that. that's it's simple. Grand Theft Auto Five has only been feeding you updates for the last five years. Okay, correct, fair. Yeah. Destiny One. Now my point is: Was Rock did Rockstar with Dr- Grand Theft Auto Five create the new model for play for console gaming? Did they create, you build one game, you add your little microtransactions so you can get your money over the time frame, Mm -hmm. and then I give you free updates. So let's roll it over to Destiny. Destiny promised a 10-year program. Instead of selling me Destiny 2, you put in microtransactions that are reasonable. You let me go out and buy glitter cards, glimmer cards, blah, 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 like they do with shark cards and all that other stuff. But you give me updates. Well, that's not accurate with Destiny, but... No, 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 no. I'm saying like with Grand Theft Auto, you can go buy mm-hmm. shark cards. You can go to Best Buy and buy a shark card and load yourself yeah. up with a bunch of money. So in comparison, yeah. you give me a Glimmer card and I get a yeah. bunch of Glimmer. It's called it's called Silver. It's Silver now? No, Glimmer is no, when you get in always- game. Yeah, glimmer is the. That's okay. Game. That's what I'm. That's what I'm telling but you. That's not what you buy. In I that's don't care. Say. That's not the I, point. I just want you to have the facts. Look, fanboy. Look, just, just have the facts. Have, get the facts right. Look. All right. My point, silver. But no, you get silver. But either they screwed us, because I would rather have another Grand Theft Auto in two years than I wouldn't. People. I, I'm a. I disagree with that. I disagree coming from the guy who's loving Destiny too. I, I, I'm going to tell you why I disagree with that. Because, okay, if, if they would have just gave us a major update for Destiny 2, I would have been happy. I wouldn't have that, cared. But this is my, this is my this point, is, and this is what pro- I'm asking. So the did problem? Grand Theft Auto, did Rockstar create the new model for gaming from now on on console? I'm trying to think if there was another game that did. And I'm going to tell you how long I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about that since uh, Mortal Kombat 9 came out, right? When Mortal Kombat 9, I think it was 9, whatever one that came out on PlayStation 3, and 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 SOCOM, because I played SOCOM back on PlayStation 3, when the PlayStation 3 first came out. If they would have just, I've always said this, if they if they would just give me, or in, even for Madden, this would work for Madden. Hold on, what's going on? <laughs> uh-uh, Rebels in Jamaica. Go back down to the mommy, okay? I'll be down there soon. Um, I lost my. Oh, this is where I was at. All right. So if you if you give me a game, all right, because like I said, Warframe does this as well. PC game. If though. you, yeah, but Warframe's also on console. Okay. Warframe's always also, and what the the major difference in between when a game comes out, it's the same price. You see what I'm saying? So there, it's not like nothing's new. It's just you prefer to play on PC. I prefer to play on console. We've already had this conversation. Console is for the everyday player. PC people play their game. They're going to play PC for hours upon hours. You see what I'm saying? You have to be vested to have a PC that can run these high intense games at the max, do the, all the excruciating design things that they have and all of high frame rates. You have to be vested into gaming to get a rig to run these games 
and actually get the most out of it. So now, whether you prefer to play on console or PC, that's obviously preference. If you gave me a game, if you said, and like I said, this I've been saying this since PlayStation 3, if you gave me one game, right, and it was a game that I enjoyed, and every so often, whether, whatever it's every six months, if the game is big enough or whatever, if they gave me some type of major update that revamped the game, gave me something to do for six months, I'm okay with that. The reason why I'm okay with that is because I already love the game. Now, if you give me sh- content that's horrible, if it's if it's lacking in certain things, of course, call, you're supposed to call me out. You're supposed to let them know, hey, this was trash, just like with Fallout 4. Fallout 4 was not what we expected. Just imagine if with your favorite game ever on Earth, if the company who created that game continued to give you major updates and major areas and major different changes to the game over and over and over again, would you still play it? Now, whether that's a, now, whether that's a, a, a business idea that people don't want, obviously I keep saying Warframe because this is what they do. If it's an idea that they don't want, because granted, if they drop another game, they're probably going to make more money off the new game because it's the hot thing that's popping right now. The only reason why I, I I think that'll be for the culture type deal. Imagine if they stopped making NBA 2Ks and they just said NBA, right? NBA 2K, like, final or some crap. And the only thing they did was update rosters and update. You get to keep all your V V points, all the characters that you get. They just make an update every year. Imagine how... That would be a positive for a consumer. But it does no good for the... Uh, it doesn't do very well for the, but at, and once ah, you brought up a point that ans- that almost answers my question. Did Grand Theft Auto change the way that? Because the only which, reason why 2K, I don't want to say two K, you just brought up a great example. The only reason why I didn't want to say is and okay, let me just answer that. Yes, they did. Okay. The only reason why I'm saying yes is because I don't know if there was another game that did that. Closest one to it would be Destiny. But they stopped at three years and came out with Destiny 2. No, well, because you had to pay for the DLCs in Destiny. Ah. You see what I'm saying? So let's, no let's, other game, so no got, other game did it. You gotta you gotta take this into consideration. Rock whether you think Rockstar is lazy, some people think that they're the best thing in the world. They're giving you content for a game that's been out for five years that's still rocking. Bro, it's always that one of the top tens like. games. It's always one yeah. of the top ten sold games every week. Why? Because people enjoy it. People like it. It'd be different if it was a whole. It'd be different if the content that they gave you was. You see what I'm saying? We're. I think we. I think this conversation is being like extra picky. No, 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 like, no. I think you're I think you're ignoring the culture of PC games and console games because okay, we're, and let me tell you this, the fact that this 5-year-old console game still costs $60 any given day. That should tell you something. No, that should tell you they change the way things are going think because any other console game that's out for 5 years ain't going to cost full price. All right. Think about this though. Right? If they if well, of course not, because those games tr- are trash. No. <laughs> That's my point. My point is this game can still, you can, anybody can enjoy this game still, regardless of what we're talking about sale-wise, the model that they're that they're putting out there. The game is still a great game. To this day, anybody can pick it up and enjoy the game. Now, granted, like I said, this is for the consumer. The person that's buying the game, this helps you out if i already enjoyed grand theft auto why would i want to go buy another grand theft auto especially if you're giving okay the reason why i'm okay with it still being 60 bucks is because if you went and bought grand theft auto right now for 60 bucks you get all that back-end content very true for five years for five years they've been giving you stuff to keep the game alive and people have still been playing it the reason why I'm okay with that is because not only people still play it. Let's let's not ignore the fact that the game you just said is top ten in top sales. 10. People still buying it. People still enjoy the game. Not only that, the game was a great game when it first came out. 
So yeah. all that content that you got up until the new DLC came out, the next one, the next one, the next one, people are still enjoying it. So I have no problem Did with that. Did they even do That's... DLC for this one? For which one? For Grand Theft Auto Five. I have no clue. I just I don't heard th- about the major I don't th- updates. I don't think they did DLC. Correct us in the comments. I don't think yeah. they did. I, I want to say they've only been doing the online experience updates. I'm a I'm a, because and the funny part about that is that's the end game. Mm-hmm. The end game is the online experience. Mm-hmm. So you beat the story and then you jump into the same world with a created character with your attributes with the guns that you got cars that you got the money that you got the places you buy it literally is almost like like a in-game reality of like yeah. rpg mm-hmm. you see what i'm saying second Excuse life me. so i'm i'm okay with that because i think and then think about the people that actually grinded that game to get the money that they had that get the property that they purchased you telling me you know how pissed off you, you know how pissed off i am well this was 2012. You know how pissed off I was after 2012 NBA 2K? After I put so much time into getting these characters, I even used money on me to get some of these characters. And you telling me in a month, a new game is coming out? <laughs> Do I get a rollover? <laughs> but, <laughs> but check this. You are uh, the, um, I want to say the manager or the director, I forgot his dang name over at Rockstar, and mm-hmm. talking about Red Dead Redemption too. They already said it, Grand Theft Auto is not meant to last forever. It was never meant to be a forever thing. Yeah. So all good things must come to an end. Of course. But at the same time, I I have no problem. Only problem I have with Rockstar is you, they literally put all their eggs in one basket for five years. And it feels it very works. cheap. I it as a, But look, it worked, it worked on paper. It worked for all the people that's playing it still. Bro, you the only person that says it. The only reason why I'm saying that because we just talked about how the people st- people still playing it, it's still doing good in sales. Hey, the saying goes, if it's broke, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay. So if you if you're giving me a game that's working, it's working. Like okay. And then and then they didn't just drop the game off. They dropped the game off and continued to do stuff to it. Now so this is the only, re- only now let's, reason why I'm the def- only reason why I'm defending it is because it's working. Now backwards the, compatibility. Huh? Now backwards compatibility and remasters. It's not? No, now backwards compatibility and remasters. Wait, what are you talking about? Let's are roll it. Up. Yeah. So no, we, oh, we okay. Say, okay. So with all that enthusiasm thought, with this five year old game, was... with all that enthusiasm, so how enthused are you about <laughs> rebuying the same game you purchased three years ago? I wouldn't rebuy. Wait, what are you talking about? Are All talking the about, remasters? We yeah, because we're going to take the same enthusiasm and hype you got for this five-year-old Rockstar game, mm-hmm. and we're going to roll it over into... It's, it's current, though. That's fine. A remaster is going to current. Are you happy about Spyro being remastered? No, that's different. Are you happy? It, are you happy about, about Crash Bandicoot? This game is are still you happy? current. It's still on well, all these game, platforms. These games are going to be current. They're rebringing out their yeah, servers and everything. Fun. Grand Theft Auto Five was never a remaster because it was never, other than it being on PC, PlayStation Three and Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. So it came, it made the transition over to the new console. So that's not really a remaster. Now let's. What do you consider a remaster? About, I consider Spyro a remaster. Dark Souls on Nintendo Switch a remaster. I consider um, what other game has been remastered? Crash Bandicoot. Uh, Crash Bandicoot. That's a remaster. I consider all games that Skyrim. was already previously out. Well, had they made a new Skyrim? Yeah. And, yeah, they did remaster. Yeah, they remastered Skyrim for the Switch. That's a remaster. If the game previously was out years ago and I had enough time to destroy the game, to beat the game, to platinum the game, why would that why would I be excited for that to be out? Crack of Donald Five. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> How does that make sense with Grand Theft Auto Five? You just, you, you just heard what you said. No, that doesn't make any sense. That falls. Grand Theft Auto Five game. It everything you That's just like said. Saying, is, so Dota's a remaster. League of Legends is a remaster. These games are still current. Now those games are on what? 
<laughs> those games are still current. Warframe, is that a remaster? That game has been out for like five years. So those games are what? Those games are primarily PC games. It doesn't matter, though. Yes, it, it does. does. Matter. So you're telling me PC players should get one game every 10 years, but console games should get one game every year? We just talked about how that's a bad thing. Why would that be a good thing now, regardless of where you're at? Because the level of updates and creativity are easier to do on PC. It That's why you got the matter. mod community. Okay, so now, That's why now you got you're, the... Now you're, now you're speaking on from the developer standpoint, not a consumer anymore. No, oh no. So which one do you want no, to No, 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 sir. From a consumer standpoint, it always makes more sense on PC because there's a way more plethora of games out. There's okay. always something new. Yeah, I got you. On, and as on a consumer, console... As a consumer console gaming which one would you rather buy a game every year or have a game have a great game that lasts for a, a long period of time because we could say grand theft auto's been out as long as playstation and xbox one has have been alive that's a fact that's not okay. that's not a it's that's not a, a question game. what are we so are you so are you telling me you didn't want to see nothing else from rockstar red dead redemption okay I'm waiting for Red Dead Redemption. Okay. What more, what more do they give us? Think about it. Uh, Think about what the Warriors. They, what, they gave what, us the Warriors. Okay. They gave so you want even their remasters? even their nah. Ooh, nah. No. Because I already played if it on PSP. Play I played play it on. I played it on Vita, exactly. PSP, PlayStation, I, <laughs> Xbox. The, the right. difference between I think the difference between what you're saying because I do get what you. The difference between what you what you're saying and what I or what you consider remaster and what I consider remaster is when I, a remaster to me is a game that's previously been out on a a, a a generation before console, and then you want to bring it to life again on new console. It was it'd be different if there was something if they put out something before. So but if if uh, what is it? Uh, what's the creators of uh, so I got, a, I got, a, I got a quick question. I, I gotta, I gotta ask because it, it's, it sounds so funny. So, for Grand Theft Auto 5 to be considered a remaster, it would have had to come out on Xbox. Xbox, no, you can't because what, what else have they done? What else have Rockstar done? They haven't done anything else, they've just given you updates to a game that's already good, True. right. Now, if Halo, think about Halo, right? They did remaster Halo. that. They remastered a Halo. Because it was on a previous console. they to create other Halos. They remastered the best Halo. If you ask the Halo community, they remastered the best Halo, right? Yeah. But the new Halos that they put out was ass. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's... That's you, you're, you're remastering something to bring it to life again, to give your company some type of steam, something to roll didn't you they, over until didn't you create they, something. Didn't they give out free copies of the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 versions of um, Grand Theft Auto 5? Yeah, when you bought the Grand Theft Auto 5 on PlayStation 3, you automatically. You got- Yes, yeah, you got the I do remember over. that. Okay, so, that, so that's why I said it kind of. It's not really. I got you. you know I'm saying right there, they knew they they literally they could have just waited until the PlayStation Four came out or the Xbox One came out and dropped them. Well, because the remember the game came out. What was it? First, the game came out a month before the new console did. Exactly, it was. It so wasn't people, even out a full thirty days. And the best thing that Rockstar did was. They said, "Oh, okay, cool. You can port one cont one Say, account yeah. over onto your new account onto your PlayStation Four. So all the money that I had accumulated through glitches and whatever else I had did, I was able to port all of that over into my PlayStation account and run with that still. Gotcha. So I'm not mad. I would be more mad with Rockstar if Rockstar came out if the game was at like if the game was super short, if there wasn't nothing for me to do in the game." If they just gave me the game and left it and expected me to still play it, right? I'd be more upset with them about that. But when you continue to keep the game up in the ties with these other games... And for low cost to free. Exactly. You can't really complain with that because it's still a game of today's day and age. I would still... I still wanted to see more IPs from Rockstar. 
Yeah, I mean, and, and why? Okay, and then I would say to you, is why? would you want them to put out something else or would you want them to work on Red Dead? Because the most respect I have for them was when they say, yo, we got to push Red Dead Redemption back. Because if that game comes out and it's booty, I'm going to be upset. This, first off, I already know, we already know um, Rockstar pushes back games. That's without a question. Regardless of what they're going to put out, it's going to be pushed back. Yeah, but in the day and days, in a day, in a day and age where they could have gave us the gaming updates, updates, updates True. upon updates. But, but you're, you, okay, let's revamp. You're talking to me, a guy who truly pays attention to the companies he buys games from. No, I, I know that. Okay, so companies who have my respect without question, 99% of the times until they lose it, which Bethesda recently started losing it for me. But mm -hmm. it used to usually be Bethesda, CD Projekt Red, Witcher, um, Rockstar. But the problem was, I truly felt they creatively sat on their hands for five years. As a fan mm -hmm. of Rockstar, a fan. You're talking to a guy who's probably owned every Rockstar game. All right. I got a question for you now. Okay. How many of the updates did you play in Grand Theft Okay, so how, th that's see, and that I, I find that a little no, no. But I listen, that, but but listen, a bit. but listen, but let me stop you. How many games came out in between the first update and the second update? All right, how many games do you still play, bro? You already know. <laughs> what kind of question? That's a question personally for you because but, I already knew the answer. The reason why I'm the reason why I'm saying that is you're saying this. But the GTA community is saying something totally but, different. But bro, that see now we're talking about so the now, we're talking about the one percent versus the ninety nine percent. All right, it, we we does that make sense now? Does that make sense now? Now when we talk that because you still play Destiny two, which yeah, you've admittedly called trash. Of course. So okay, my point is, but I'm but I'm I'm mine one percenter. Mine is not coming from a a statistical standpoint on how I think that they should do what they should do to make it better. I'm in this realm of they're going to do what they're going to do. And I've already expressed that to you. I've already expressed that to many of people. At this point, they're going to do what they're going to do. I just got done telling you, I'm bored. I want to find another game. That's what I'll think about Monster Hunter. Got you. So for you, for... Which is fun. The, 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 reason, why, the reason why I say that is every game is going to have haters. Oh, of course. Every game oh, yeah. is going to have somebody that doesn't like it. Every game is going to have somebody that's, that says, hey, they could do this better. But, but when you, like you said, you're, you're talking from the 1% standpoint. Why would I even need to listen to the percent standpoint if everybody else is telling me, oh, this is great. They're still being played. I want to pull up Twitch right now and see where Grand Theft Auto oh, is. Oh, Grand Theft Auto right. is always one of the top streamed ones. Grand Hands Theft down. Auto right now for a Hands down. Show. It's the fifteenth viewed game right now with like ten thousand viewers. Okay, you see what I'm saying? So yeah, you from the standpoint that you at, like I said, I I but, understand where you're coming. And from. there you go, because once again, as a company, Rockstar put all their eggs in one basket, and I think a company that big did it work. But that's not the point. The <laughs> point of it is no, 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 yes, no, 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 because. Here it is, other big name companies have given us multiple beautiful games over the course of five years. Most companies, what do you get? And I'll, I'll say RPG. Every two years, you get a good game. Facts. All right, give give me give me some. Okay. CD Projekt Red, you, Witcher Two, Witcher okay, Three. Where is that at? I don't even see that on. There. Okay, Witcher Two, Witcher Three. They gave you two beautiful games, right? I'm not knocking that these games are good. Okay. But are people still playing them? Oh, of course. Yeah. People are still playing. Yeah. Them. Like, the amount right of people now. that's playing Grand Theft Auto, people are still playing. No, them. no. Hell no. Hell okay. no. That's what I mean. This game that they gave you is this game is ahead of Far Cry 5 in views right now. Yep. This game is ahead of what are the games? Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves just came out. Just came this out. This game is ahead of. Call of Duty, Super Smash Brothers, Runescape, or RuneScape, 
heroes of the of the story. Which okay, that's what I'm saying. I'm hey, saying that. Hey, no, and I'm and I'm okay. So if that's the case, which clearly it is, you just showed mm -hmm. me the numbers. Grand Theft Auto has now changed the way that games should be made and the way games should be produced to us. Okay, so now this leads to another question. Is that is this the way that they're that they've changed the games? Do you disagree with it or do you like do you like it? I'm scared because it's great on paper and it's great like you just said for numbers. Mm -hmm. Everything about it sounds fucking beautiful. But then now you think about it and you stand back. I've been playing the same game for five years. You know what? You know, you know what when you said that just now, in my head, I just that's a personal thing with you. I'm gonna tell you why before 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 you say anything. We just got done. I just okay, so back uh we're back gonna, to the original rewind. point. We made a I made a bet with uh with B right here, right? Um that saying if he if he completes a game, I will buy him a game. So he all he has to do is beat the game. Now the running joke between us is he never finishes games. Yeah, they do call so, me he who finishes no games. Exactly. So he never finishes games. Like net like he don't complete them. He don't care about trophies. He plays I'm, them and he enjoys them. That's all he does. He wants the enjoyment out of it and that's that. He's not here to really complete it. Now I just I can't tell you one game that I've heard you complete since we've been friends. Oh, um, The Last of Us. Um, okay, so The Last of Us. Dying That's... Light. Okay. Destiny. No, because I never beat any raids. Um, yeah. Assassin's Creed. All all the way up to Assassin's Creed. The all the way up until Black Flag. I never finished Black Flag, and then I didn't play anything until Origins. I haven't finished Origins. Um, okay. okay, now before you continue, what's your two? Have are there are there more games that you? Oh, my backlog is stupid. My backlog huh? is stupid. Okay, so ooh, now massive now, chalice. I finished that game. I actually beat it three times. That's okay. how much I enjoyed that game. Right, I so actually beat that game three times. Me. Well, look at you completing games three times. You didn't even want to play uh, Metal Gear Solid after I destroyed. 40 times. That's a, okay. <laughs> just to give an insight to me, that is so real. I watched this dude beat the living hell out of Sons of pa Guns of Patriots. Mm -hmm. I watched him destroy that game. I never touched it. Only thing I played with it, actually, I did touch it. I played the I played the part where you fight liquid, uh, yeah. uh, liquid snake. Where, where he, he kept changing. He changed yeah. from like Ocelot, Ocelot to liquid snake, to yeah. Solidus. Snake. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. that's the only part of that game i played i didn't fight one ball oh all, okay metal gear solid metal gear yeah. solid uh two sons of liberty okay that, uh, now you're going back way too far i'm talking about recent now okay so back to my main, <laughs> point. My, my main point my main point is the reason why i, say I don't finish games personal things gotcha. with you is because you don't finish games your longevity in a game is what a month max it has to be something beautiful for me. You know what I'm saying? So for so now I understand. No, now I'm I'm actually I actually really understand where you come from because you're not a person that's that's that dedicated to any game that you would stick. Now, now think about me. You used to play Destiny. one game. You had one game in your disc in your disc. Yeah, I had disc Destiny tray. in my Xbox since it came from the day it came out up until the new one. Yep, facts. I, I know that's, that for a fact. That's facts. My destiny my destiny thing has a ring around the edge of it. So I'm I'm like that. If I can find one good game that can captivate me, the only game that I've played, I've sat down and played for twelve hours straight was SOCOM Confrontation. Dark Souls that too. Is, that was up there as well, yeah, that's up there as like my favorite game because of the time I put into that game. And that game had no type of progression the, or the progression system in it is they didn't show you like no bar, just randomly you got a, a different rank symbol. It was literally random. Like you could have the most epic games ever. You can go a week without getting up in your game. And that's just how it was. But I played that game forever. Like I, can't I even ran with you years. for a bit. Yeah, I was trying to get everybody to play that game. Point. I didn't even last so, long in that. 
and I think I went and bought it. Didn't it come with yeah. a controller? No, no, no. Well, yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah. Remember, it, it came with a controller. It came with a he- Bluetooth headphones. Matter of fact, I got the Bluetooth head head <laughs> headphone over there. But okay, so now you can understand where B is coming from. He's coming from a person that I'm going to enjoy this game for this amount of time, and then I'm on to it, right? Whereas I can understand a person playing the game for, you know, years upon years upon years, they still enjoy the game. Naturally, if you enjoy it, you continue to play it. Whereas if you're a person that you want to play the game, another game comes and play that game, then you're going to continue to get them. Now, but, now, now, piggybacking on that, mm-hmm. this is why I also say this thousands of hours in a game is PC life. You've been in my chat room. You've seen people when they come to Mountain Blade. I'm playing an yeah. eight-year-old game. Yeah. Eight years. Okay. Now, now, this, let now me, this goes back to our question. But this go this is PC, bro. And this is yeah. and this is why I bring that point up. So d- World of Warcraft. Uh I I mean we'll just say PC games. I got a game that wasn't even on. Well, there is an online aspect, but I never played the online. I put in over 300 hours. Me. Which, funny, okay. 300 hours in terms of what people really be doing on PC. Ain't shit. Ain't shit. Ain't shit. That's noob Ain't shit. numbers. Yes. That's noob numbers. And that's so. But my point is, and I think we clearly we answered it. We're beating a dead dog here. Well, we still got some more to go. We got. We still yeah. Ain't, we still ain't answered the question, really. Oh, I have a problem. I have, I hate remasters. I no, hate... no, no, not well. We haven't even got to that really. We oh, the same subject. Um, this whole okay. So now that you're saying that it's like a PC life, this whole concept of giving us one game and just sticking to this one game. Um, you said that you were scared. I say I like it because if you can captivate a community, if you can make a game and it be a community, you did something special. So whether it's a PC, console, Switch, Game Boy, if you create a game and it builds its own community within the game, I'm talking about you got major players in the game that play it from like the top guy to like he's playing with certain people, they're doing certain things inside the game. You have created something that has changed the lives of people, to be honest, because this person is going to continue to play this game because of what it's did or what it has done, what it has done. So I'm okay with that mentality of giving me a game and letting it rock. As long as you stay, as long as you stay in by the side of the game, as you continue to, to show me different things, I'm okay with that. Cause not only as a consumer, do I save money? True. I'm entertained. True. I don't have to worry about poor it or doing um i don't have to worry about level progression because if i'm gonna play the game i'm gonna level it up so if you're gonna give me a game and then give me and then the thing with rockstar and i know we stuck with them or we're sticking to them rockstar uh with especially with like grand theft auto with this new style of grand theft auto 5 you know how you know how trash you know how upset i would kind of feel to have to i mean i would do it because i like rockstar and i like grand theft auto the, the grand theft auto series but you know how messed up I would feel to be the first Grand Theft Auto game where, like, your online character has, like, a bank account where you got money and you got quadrillions of dollars, and now you give me another game and I got to do it all over again? That would kind of, I would, that would sit wrong with me. I mean, it sat wrong with me with Destiny. I low key was upset with Destiny, but the only reason why D- Destiny's um, story mode and their, th- and their, uh, Level progression isn't as as isn't as uh, demanding as like a Grand Theft Auto. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I agree with it. I I rock out. If you gave me a game, this is the last game. If I enjoy the game, and you continue to say, "Hey, we just gonna give you updates," and the updates are fire. I'm talking about they gotta be six months worth of con of of, of content type of fire. I'm I'm all for that. Because, like I said, as a consumer, we save money. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So, um, I guess that's my point on that. I, I really do agree. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, man, I don't really take up for the consumer like that because we are. I don't really take up for the the um or in Destiny at least. 
in Destiny, I never really stuck up for the 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 uh, consumer. No, not because I was a consumer. What what did we we called it something else? The the Pretty. casual gamer, mm. because that's what ruined this game. The casual gamer or the, the appeal to the casual gamer. Got you. Because now the grind ain't in there and stuff like that. But when you find a game that a casual gamer can jump in, this is why the division when it first came out was trash. Because the casual gamer could not keep up. That's why I stopped playing. Exactly. So After the first you, update. Now imagine if the division came out and they they hit the ground running and they were like the hottest shit. You know what they I just think Remember they were they before do. the they, update. Remember we were all playing. That's all we played was the division. Yeah, no, but even even before that update it still was hard. Because we, actually when that update came out I had like some time off, so I was playing, and I—that's why I was up with everybody. But this is why, like, playing in the dark in the dark zone was hard by yourself, stuff like that. You get on, and everybody's mad, high. They doing the—I uh, forget what they were called, like the um, excuse me, similar to like the raid. And remember, we were sitting underneath that tunnel for like <laughs> like mad hours, sitting there trying to do glitches, and that, that's my whole uh, you know take on that. I'm cool with it. I just don't. I just now rolling over into remasters now. Okay. Imagine if. Imagine if Grand Theft Auto Five came out, right? Right. Then a year later they dropped something else, and then a year later they dropped something else, and the year after that they dropped something. So that's three games that they drop, and they don't. They don't do good. They do not do good, and the community that they built up is in this uproar. Got you. This uproar because you guys are just, you guys are ruining us. You know, revive GTA is a hashtag. <laughs> if a game has a revive and then the name of the game behind it, you really hurt some people. And then you decide to say, you know, we're going to give you guys great to follow five again. That's trash to me. I don't like that. You're, you're supposed to progress. You need to progress. So if you come, if you create a game, and the game was good, you need, first of all you need to talk to your community. This is why y'all have community uh, managers that go on Twitter and talk to people. Hey, what would you like? What do sure. you dislike? This is what they're for. All major, co- all major. Um, Any, um, anybody's that has it. Yeah, has some type of community manager that's sure. talking to the people that's playing your game. Once you blatantly start to ignore that. Then you get into the realm of Call of Duty, where y'all gonna get what we give y'all, and then that's that. <laughs> Facts. You, you see what I'm saying? I, I, me personally, I just like I don't like games that were great. They had their time, they had their run, they end, and then you start giving me shit, and then you start to give me that game back again because. You gave me shit prior to these games. And then you give me a limited version of it. Yeah. You don't even give me the full version with all, all the open servers. You only give me limited maps. You only give me... Hey, you know what? I'm going to be a little selfish right now. Um, When they remastered Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, I think I was okay with that because I never played it. Ah. Uh, so that's and that, me being a little hey, selfish. And that's... <laughs> And that's another thing too that comes with the with the sins of remasters, is there's a large community who enjoys it because there's a large community who didn't play it. Yeah, exactly. So, so uh, me, I was a little excited, and I still haven't. But it just, I just, I like to hold. If you're a content creator, if you're a, uh, that's probably the wrong word, but if you're a video game developer, there you go, mm-hmm. and you develop IPs. This is what you do. And this is and this was one of the major problems with uh Call of Duty, for example. Yeah. We gotta hold people's feet to the fire. Yeah. Give me new creative top of the line stuff. Period. You yeah, got the money for it. That you made the money for you, it. And you, you know we're gonna buy it. And it. we're gonna buy it. You yeah. know we're gonna buy it. We're going to buy it. That it I it, I, I think Call of Duty is in that realm of like, you, 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 no matter how many people go and uproar about it, no matter how many people dislike the game, they're still going to buy the game. True. And the reason why I think 
in the beginning, they did something great. They came out with these games that people loved. They started off fresh, strong, off the rip. And um, they the, the model before the whole you know, pre-order thing really kicked them off because they dropped DLCs. Mm. And now everybody that's playing, if everybody who's anybody is buying DLCs because they're keeping the game that you enjoy alive, challenges involved. You can do this, you can do that. So they did something. Then they created their competitive side. Now their competitive side is rocking. To be honest, that's the only side that I pay attention to is the competitive side. So people... That game, the reason why I say it's gonna be it's untouchable is because of what they did in the past. People are gonna talk shit about it all day. But they're gonna keep Every playing day, it. Just like two K. They're gonna they're gonna still play it. Just like two K, just like Madden, just like FIFA. Yeah. People are yeah. gonna play these games hell or high water because it's almost like an obligation and you don't wanna be the only one not playing it. Exactly. So now what as we can continue to say, hey, you know, let's not do that. But I think that that I think when you need to start off with like smaller games that are coming in, because now these games with these smaller developers, uh, with these smaller communities, now you can actually touch more people because big wigs inside Call of Duty ain't care about what you got to no, say. Because they know I'm you're going to buy the game people. regardless. Yeah. Look at PUBG. PUBG is I think PUBG and Fortnite is getting to the ground. Everything that they do from here on out is going to be something. Oh yeah, new war mode, PUBG. Oh, oh yeah, Fortnite. I get a build structure bomb. Oh, like it's just like you call me fanboy for Destiny. That's exactly what it is for these other games because these games have ascended. To be to be honest, it is an ascension. <laughs> they have gone off the Ricker scale. There is no catching these games. Wow. And I'm gonna tell you this: the one reason I'm okay with those games is because of the low cost and or free. Mm-hmm. that's the only reason I'm okay with these games because I actually, when Overwatch first came out, I had a problem with it. You're selling yeah. me a online only full price game. That's multiplayer only with no true in game storyline. You know what? When Overwatch came out, I had I a problem with that. it just on paper. I have a problem with I, it. I'm going to tell you why I didn't buy that game. Oh, I, I didn't never, I've never play. I've never played Overwatch. Because they clearly, they clearly put that game out to be competitive. Yeah, that was only. which is fine. That game yeah. is not for people. It's not. For, I mean, people can casual people can play it, but that game was meant to be strictly for esports. esports. So when that game came out, that's the only reason why I didn't buy it. I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, you're giving me hero, heroes. I gotta. You know, do all of this extra stuff in the map. I still, I've, I've never played the game. I've never been intrigued to play the game. I, I watch the esports scene, pay attention to the esports scene, but I, I never decided to. I, that's the only reason. San why Francisco I Shock. To <laughs> what? San Francisco oh, Shock. I was like the Houston or the Dallas Fuel. Mm-hmm. They got, they got their own league, which is yeah, cool, which is dope. But at it's the end rocking. of the day, they were charging people. Oh, I want to say it was full price. It was a full it price was. game. It was 60 bucks. Yeah. yeah. And there was no tr- only storyline is on YouTube that everybody can watch right now. Yeah. Like and which yeah. oh, if you if hey, anybody watching, please. I know I'm talking shit, but go watch the um go watch the Overwatch movies, the storylines. Mm-hmm. They're dope for, the, character? for yeah. the characters. They're amazing. They I mean, everything from I, emotional to badass fight scenes. They're I haven't, it's it's movie worthy. Watched- Netflix I haven't watched worth. any of them. I haven't watched any of them, but I, I watched one of the designers. He went. He was on IGN, and he was explaining each character's like background, where they come from, and how they came to be. Bro, like it, some of them have some of them have uh, like a, a deeper emotional build because they they come from people inside the studio. Mm. You know, like stuff like that. Like it was almost almost comparable to like Noob Saibot. Like why people like Noob Saibot because he's actually you re, you you switch the net you reverse the names and they spell the two the creators of the game's uh last name so which was dope like that's why oh yeah he, like he ain't really a character character he just a special character that's mm-hmm. why th- their characters are, are are dope in that sense but i i always knew that game was for esports yeah i always knew it 
and that's why I was like, you know, I'm not. I I I'd rather watch it. Sports like that, I can, I can watch it though, but. But so, yeah, that's... but back to back to the main point because I I know we ran off and we're over on time, but the whole point is for me, I I would rather see a brand new Spyro than a Spyro remake. Give me a new one. I would be more excited. I would be so pumped for Spyro Four. Yeah, I would be way more excited for Spyro Four. Same Mario man. the fact that Mario one of the oldest games out there has more creativity than a lot of these games that have been coming out in the last 10 years <laughs> more innovation Mar- Mario got so innovative they started making you create your own level <laughs> Thank you Hey man we just going to give y'all the game y'all but... Thank you <laughs> That they gave you Mario <laughs> Maker, Super Mario Maker, and then you could run it in they gave any you of Mario the looks. Paper. <laughs> yeah, they gave you Paper Mario. They gave you an RPG. There's a R- There's a couple RPG Mario's out there. Oh really? Hell yeah! Like full blown RPGs with stats and everything and turn based yeah. combat. Mario. Yeah man. I, but, I just think when you, when you do that, when you give me a game that was, it's way past. It was way past this time, or not way past this time, but it came out. It did its thing, and then it died and ended. And then you wanted to revive it because you need to. Like, I was so upset when Crash Bandicoot won that voting shit. Yeah, I voted for SoCal, bro. Man, <laughs> that was another selfish vote right there. I was like, yeah, SoCal remake, SoCal remake, SoCal. No, they gave me fucking Crash Bandicoot. Fuck Crash Bandicoot. I don't even like Crash Bandicoot. That's how upset I was trying to so, trying to spiral kick the uh, the box without hitting the TNT, yeah, but man. but no, but plain and simple, um, I'm not. Once again, I'm. It's not that I didn't or don't love these games. Who didn't like Spyro? But why not just give me a new one? A how new would you story? feel about a a Fallout Four remake or I, a Fallout Three remake? I wouldn't want it. Fallout New Vegas remake. And you know why I wouldn't want it? Because you can just go play PC right now for the low. For thirteen ninety nine, mm-hmm. you can go on Steam, pick it up, and download a free mod and make it look like remastered. <laughs> they're they're actually remastering games. Yeah, they what, re, they remade uh, Red Dead, but something happened with it. Oh, they any anytime anytime they do big name games, they always get stopped because of uh, copyrights. Um, okay. Like they were gonna do it with Fallout Three, they almost finished putting the in, uh, Fallout Four Three and Fallout Four's engine. Can you imagine? I'm actually, I'm actually looking like looking through, uh, like they remade Resident Evil. Mm-hmm. Imagine if they remade Left for Dead. Ooh, I'm, I'm sitting here dead scrolling Island. through all of these uh, Dead Island, uh, Dead Rising. But see, but, see but let me let me go ahead and say this: the remake for Dead Island is Dying Light. Mm-hmm. Even though it's not the same company and all that, well, Deep Silver, it might, it might have yeah. been Deep Silver. They might have both did it. But the point is, I would rather see a progression of Dead Island to Dying Light than Dead yeah. Island to Dead Island remastered for the Xbox One Thousand. <laughs> no, no, like that. That's all I'm I, saying. I agree. I agree with you. I agree with you because I'm just looking. I'm literally looking at all these games. All these games at like the bottom tier of but uh, hey, but Pete this, Twitch. but Pete this, and that's also what falls into when I talked about the PC world. Yeah, look at what you're looking at. Click of a mouse, and you're playing, you're playing whatever, whether it's an emulator, whatever it is, mm-hmm. you're playing any and everything remastered, vanilla, classic. You know, you're you're playing it. Yeah, but see, and then that goes that's. We've had this conversation. Yeah. Before. Yes, I we won't have. beat the, but that that goes into the PC realm is a different place. It's a whole new you know? world. With the, they're catching they're catching the everyday, the every or the casual gamer because most of the casual gamers are on console. True. Casual gamers don't buy big ass computers mm-hmm. with upgraded. 10, you know, 1080, 1094, titaniums, water cooled, and yeah. These casual gamers ain't building their own PC. Nope. You see what I'm saying? So this is why my my argument. We come, we can stick up. We can't even really stick up for the PC master race because we really ain't in it. We're cat. We are on the console. True. So for a console gamer, yeah, they caught me. They caught me. 
Because now you tell me, oh yeah, if I want to go play Crash Bandicoot, I gotta go get the goddamn PlayStation One and find the disc. That's why they caught you. Now they're not catching me because nah, I ain't buying that. No, nah, you're not catching me. I'm not. <laughs> you're not catching me because I'm not buying it. I don't like that. That's that's that realm of what I consider remasters that I do not like. Didn't I, I tell like you it was gonna be a bunch of argument and uh, and whining? Well, it's, it's, it's it's just different. It's just difference in opinions, and we've always had these conversations. Oh, yeah, different dialogues, recording it. So that's why I see it. That's the way I see it, and that's why I don't. I don't ever. I don't ever stick up for that. I don't ever stick up for that type of. Yeah, uh, it, it's it's greedy. It, it's yeah. it's it is. greedy. It's, it's, that is a, a and good then it's way to and then it's lazy. It's like just create something new. Take take a chance. Yeah, and then and then if you really. And which is scary, and I hate sometimes when it. Okay, perfect example. Didn't when Fallout Four came out, they added Fallout Three. Yeah, you got Fallout Three when you bought the digital. Uh, when Fallout Four first came out, wasn't it a uh, uh, when you bought it digitally, I'm, you got Fallout Three with it. I don't. I, I want to say you. I wanted art, yeah, because that's when it became backwards compatible on Xbox One. Oh, that's an Xbox. Thing. Yeah, that's not PlayStation. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, but okay, that's see now that's an Xbox thing because the Xbox, Xbox has been pushing this backwards compatibility thing big time. They've been really pushing and, it, and and I'm I'm gonna be real with you when Xbox One first came out, and I, you know why you know why they had to do it, and I think this, it's it's easier. What is it? Uh, what is it? Hindsight's twenty twenty. It's easier to see this because they had no IPs, original yeah. IPs. Yeah. No, none. What's the last original IP that Xbox had? Scalebound got canceled. See it, thieves. People were okay with Halo. No, Halo Five. People were okay with Halo. Gears of War. The new Gears, Gears of, War. of War was great, but it wasn't great enough to make me buy it. It would put it this way: if I didn't have an Xbox One, Gears of War, the new Gears of War, wouldn't have been enough to make me go buy it. But guess what? What's enough to make me go buy a PlayStation? God of War. <laughs> yeah. But last of Last game. of Us Two. Have you ever been a God a uh, uh, God uh, Gears of War fan? Yeah. Oh, dude, the first and the second one when what's his name's wife died, bro. Oh okay. my God, I beat beat those. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but I I didn't play three. Yeah, those are easy too. So don't even try to like throw them in there as, as completions. <laughs> the games is easy, dog. <laughs> but okay, so I I do I do get you though. I I'm, I'm not I'm not. I understand it. I just don't like the whole. What are you writing down? <laughs> what you making note of? What I do? What I do? Come on, son. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, Come man, on, listen. Son. Come on, son. Lot, you know, it's just it is what it is. I'm yeah. not for games that already had that are already that dead. If they're dead and gone, leave them dead. And gone. If somebody wants to go play them, they can go down. Or down. or just open it up backwards compatible and let me rebuy it for ten bucks if I if it's really that important to me. Not even that. Open a backwards compatibility and let this game. Ooh. Now you messing with people's pockets. Now you messing with people's pockets. You know what I'm saying? I got my disc. But <laughs> but yeah, my... we need to stop. We are really over. Um, no, we're good, man. This shoot. What did we miss? Oh, okay. So our view on backward or on remasters trash. That they're trash. So we agree on that. Unless they're absolute classics. No. Nah, they're trash. Oh, yeah. Like you said, they're trash. You want to play, like, go go pick up a laptop. Yep, go open up yeah. your old laptop, blow it off, and keep it going. So keep exactly. going. So we're remasters are trash. Grand Theft Auto changed the way games should be made on console mm-hmm. in a positive way because it saves money, um, and it creates constant good updates. Um, Baron doesn't beat games. And Travis got mad emotional today. He was mad Tyson. Yeah, was mad Tyson. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that was it. That was we, yeah. We I, didn't I, have nothing else. 
Yeah, th- those are the conversations we wanted to hear. We wanted to hear Quiet Remastered. Place is a great movie. Quiet Place is a great movie? A great movie. Oh, really? I haven't seen it. I went and seen it today. Great movie. Damn, man. You just randomly go be going to the movie. Bro. What's up with you? When your mother-in-law gives you gift cards to the movies, you use them. <laughs> hey, mother-in-law. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, yeah, what were we in? We're like a... Hey, man, we, we, we are over. way over. I'm telling All you, right, man. Sign me out, son. Sign me out. All right. I am Baron J67. And I am T Jones. Everything is in the description Hit below. Hit that subscribe button, please. please. We really need you guys to support. And I just found out it's very important for you guys to click the bell. We need the bell clicked. Yeah. Notifications. Bling, bling. Notification. I think everybody been saying, like, notification. I ain't going to say that. I don't want to be considered a gang. I just want y'all to click the notification bell. Yeah, because, just, yeah, just click. Yeah, the bell. it helps us out, and we appreciate you big a time. Lot. So, Maybe, yeah, we'll I'm, we'll talk about doing something crazy like a giveaway or something. I don't know. We should. We should, we should definitely do one. Yeah, let so us know is, in the comments. This is, epi- this is episode what? Eighteen. Nineteen. 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 So we'll do. You want to do a giveaway episode twenty five? Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, I'm with it. Giveaway episode 25 then. Yeah, subscribe. Subscribe, and uh, more to come on that. All right. Peace. Peace.